Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a weekend vlog, but it's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday instead of just Saturday, Sunday. Because I figured why not, I'll just make it a little longer. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to do this for the time being. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I have a good weekend planned. So today I have work. I have to catch up on work. Obviously, it's Friday. Um, I wasn't thinking I could do too much filming working for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because of the hurricane. However, the hurricane missed us. Uh, it missed Jacksonville really well. Okay, I look stupid like this. So I'm just going to uncover myself. It missed us completely. It rained on Tuesday when, before the thing even hit landfall. And then it went strictly around Jacksonville, which was amazing because it was supposed to hit us directly so i got lucky there i'm very happy about that it's still cloudy muggy grubby outside but that's okay and it's very cold it is like 70 degrees and i'm freezing which sounds pathetic because that's not actually cold temperature my body is just acclimated to extreme heat <laughs> so i'm cold um but today i'm gonna do some work like i said i have a lot to do today and i have no idea what time my husband is getting off work because the hurricane and everything messed up all of his schedule for work and everything I don't know when he's going to get home, but I have to get as much done as I can before he gets home because he's a distraction when he's here. So there's that. And then also tomorrow we're going to go to the Renningers uh, in Mount Dora, Florida, Antique Fall Market. All I've seen so far in the previews they posted on their Facebook page and on their Instagram stories is like pumpkins. They've got a lot of bunch of like pumpkins and like, uh, you know, the corn that's like white and blue little corn kernels. Those look really pretty. So it's like a bunch of that. Um, and I've seen a couple fall crafts posted, but I got a confirmation from them that a couple months ago, like back in May or June, they posted that there was going to be a blow mold vendor at this event on October 1st and 2nd. And uh, I've been thinking about it every single day since then. And I told myself September 1st to the end of September, I need to save some money so I can go to this thing and get some cute stuff. We haven't been since February and I'm so excited about it. Like, I'm so excited. Um, so there's a blow mold vendor. I got confirmation from them again that they're still going because I didn't know if like some vendors canceled because of the hurricane, which some did, but this one's still going. I'm very excited about it. So that's what we have planned for tomorrow. And if we get home early or maybe Sunday, I want to go see that new Smile horror movie. And then tonight, Hocus Pocus comes out on Disney Plus. So I got to reactivate my subscription because I canceled Disney because I never use it. And now I got to bite the bullet again on that one. But let's get started with this vlog, guys. I feel like I did a long intro and I was trying to cover my face. Like I have makeup on my face right now to cover this. I have make I have tart shape tape on it. The most full coverage thing I could. And it still looks crusty, dusty and gross. Um, well, okay, can you tell from the side that it's so like this? Like on my eyebrow to here, all of this of my face is swollen and painful. When I raise my eyebrows, it is tight and it hurts. I have HS, which I don't know if it's, the, I tried a new cleanser earlier this week. I don't know if that did it or if it's my HS. Um, so I have like this. I've cut my skin open twice now and all I can get out is blood. So I know that's super attractive, but... It is what it is. HS is a very serious common problem, but I've never got one on my face before. Um, basically, I just have, everyone has staph in their skin. I have a higher level of staph in my skin. I was just born like that. It's very common amongst women, especially in your 20s. It seems to phase out as you get older, but yeah, I have that problem. So I have this. I'm going to like, I tried to cut myself open to drain it. It's so gross. I'm sorry, um, but I, that didn't work. So, because I'm not willing to go to a doctor again to do the same thing I can do at home, I think I'm going to try, like, a hot pack or, like, a hot washcloth up there to, like, help everything dissolve. Because it's very painful. And even when my husband and I are just home alone, I put makeup on this because it's so disgusting. So, that's gross, but, you know, just let's ignore it for the time being, okay? Because I talked about it, I addressed it. <sighs> Maybe I'm glad I only had to do three videos this week. I mean, I like doing the four videos a week. I like keeping myself busy. But with the hurricane, obviously, I didn't know if I could film. And now with this, I'm, I'm, I'm glad there was less videos this week and me looking at that editing it. So let's move on. I have stuff to do. Also, I had six orders for my shop that I get to pack today, which is really exciting because I, 
I like what my business does. Well, they got six little orders. They're really small, so I can pack them really quickly. But I'm excited about it. So thank you guys for you supporting my shop. We're in my shop room right now. And I need to go put some laundry away so I can find what I'm going to wear tomorrow. It's going to be cold, and it's going to be a lot of walking. So I need to find my tennis shoes and some leggings, which is going to be weird for me because I always feel like not myself if I'm out of a dress. Okay, so I have like an astronomical amount of laundry to put away, but I can't put it away. So let me just talk about the things that I want to find at the antique market tomorrow. I'm really hoping there's more antiques than like fall crafts because I, I need antiques. Um, well, I don't need an antique, but I, I, I do. <laughs> okay, so what I'm looking for at this market, one, I need a fucking dresser. We don't have a, we have like an itty bitty tiny Ikea dresser. I don't need a dresser personally. I just have a big uh, metal basket that I throw all my t-shirts in that I wear around the house. And then all of my rest of my clothes are dresses besides like two pairs of leggings. So I just hang all of my dresses. I don't need a dresser. My husband does though. This man has so many clothes and it's kind of my fault because he's had like a terrible wardrobe when we got together. Um, and then he has a lot of clothes that I bought him. And then he also has a lot of work clothes because he does a, like a lot of projects around the house and stuff. He has a lot of clothes that were like good clothes and now I had to replace them with better clothes because he got them dirty doing projects. Like I asked him to throw on work clothes when he does projects, but he doesn't listen and just ends up doing the projects and whatever clothes he is in at the time. He doesn't go change to get into work clothes. So kind of annoying, but I need to get him a dresser. Like he just doesn't have a dresser and it's, well, he's an itty bitty baby one. It barely holds anything. So I need to do that because we had clothes in baskets for like a month now that there's no more place to put them. No place to put them. So I need to get a dresser. I also want the blow molds, the Halloween blow molds. Um, Cause I, I, I search for them all the time. And the fact that there's gonna be like a vendor who does the blow molds is gonna be like, it's gonna be so great. I'm so excited. They were really expensive last time I bought them there. Like, I got a little bear for 80. I got a big ghost for 100. I got a big pumpkin. He was only 35. And then I got a little pumpkin for free because I bought the other things. And I made like a bundle deal. They're expensive. The pumpkin was the cheapest, obviously. Um, but now I know a little more about blow molds because I'm checking estate sales every single day. I'm doing the eBay thing. I'm searching. I'm, you know, I'm price comparing things. So I know more about blow molds now that I feel more confident going and not overspending. But I'm excited. They're like my favorite thing in the world. And I'm so excited to get more friends. And Cortland's coming around to the friends too. He really likes um, the blow molds that look more vintagey. He likes them. And when I moved them, I moved them because he built me some shelves in the living room. He was so mad. He's like, why'd you move our friends? I'm like, you used to call them my friends, now they're our friends. So I'm excited about that. And then I'm also looking for oddities, things for our oddity entryway room. Oddities or seance or funeral related, something like that for that kind of gallery wall. So I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I moved all my friends over here for a TikTok, but my husband hates this built-in being empty. So it's time to move them back. Do you like how we laid out our new fish tank stuff? We're gonna take all our rocks out the bottom and stuff. We've got this grass. And we're laying out to see where everything goes. But it's nice to see everything before we put it in the tank. My husband already cut this to size to fit the bottom because it needs to be fixed and cleaned up. So last time we went to this antique thing that we're going to tomorrow, I got this. It's a little fold up shopping cart and you can open it up and it it fits all of your goodies, right? 
Husband hates it. He thinks it's inconvenient. He's like, you can fit two big size blow molds in there and I could just haul them back in both of my arms because I think this gets in the way. But you know what? It lays flat in the car, so I think it's worth taking and a reusable tote bag. Inside the mall areas where there is hallways, this does get in the way, but out in the field full of antiques and goodies and pumpkins, I think it's gonna come in handy. Okay, good morning, it's Saturday. This is my makeup. I don't like it, especially because one of my eyes is, uh, like my lid is kind of pushed down because of my forehead. Um, so my eye looks funny, but my outfit kind of sucks uh, because I couldn't find the right shirt. I got this baggy MCR shirt and some Killstar leggings and black shoes. Let's go. Okay, we made it to, De to Daytona and we went to Bucky's, which if you don't know, Bucky's is, uh, basically heaven in the form of a gas station. I can't see the, oh, there's the sign. Bucky. Okay. So they have breakfast food. We're not into that. We got banana pudding. Husband picked banana pudding. Look at Bucky. He's so cute. What'd you get? So what you got? S'more bites. Camera's down here. Big s'more. It's like some kind of marshmallow thing. Again, him. We both got brisket sandwiches at freaking like eight in the morning, yeah, nine in the morning. Brisket. I got brisket. It's brisket. I don't want brisket. I want pulled pork. Well, they didn't have any pulled pork this early. They only had like breakfast tacos and sausage biscuits, but we found brisket. Yay, Bucky. I love Bucky. Okay, oh my god. Okay, let's cover that up. Okay, pretty it's pretty bad. Okay, so we're leaving the uh, the place. Spent a lot, but you know what? We got some really good things and I've been thinking about this for months, so I'm really excited. He got some metal uh, spooky stuff, which is a little bit interesting, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What is it, propane tanks? Propane tanks and a toolbox. And, and a, a toolbox and a shovel. Uh, made out of metal. I kind of cut my hand on the shovel carrying it back here. Nice. Um, Tetanus. And I got another blow mold. You got a bunch of other blow molds. Okay, well, two of the blow molds were ghosts that were really on my, like, die-hard list. And one is slightly bigger than, like, the traditional, like, standard size one. He's gonna look so good next to my bear at my living room. So, I will see you when we get home. This was a successful trip, except you can make me drive back, too. I wish this was TikTok and I had a filter, but I don't. So I'm home and we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you my haul, okay? All of my goodies from the antique thing. Firstly, him. He was 15, it says as is. Um, I think because he's missing his top. But he's really heavy like a terracotta. I thought he'd make a really cute plant pot for 15. I thought he was really pretty. So I got him. From the same place I got the little terracotta pumpkin, I also got him. He was 20. I thought he might, it was like a little much for his size. However, I have one just like him, but a brighter orange. So I wanted one to match, but you know, obviously a different coloration, but they'd be the same size. They can go as like a pairing together. And look at him. Look at him. Look how cute he is. 
Now you can find this one usually in a smaller size, barely like this height down, um, but he's a slightly bigger version of him. I believe he's from General Plastics. He does have a light and a cord in there, but it's fine. I don't really care about the light and the cord. <laughs> he was the most expensive one of the day. He was 80. I know it's a lot of money for a piece of plastic, but he's gonna look so good next to my bear. And the fact that he's a more rare version of this design, and I really love this design in general, I just feel like it was a good investment. Okay, next up. <laughs> he's a trio. Um, these are kind of flat to the wall. Trio can be hung if you wanna hang him, or he can sit on the floor because he's flat on the bottom. But he's nice. It's a little tree of pumpkins. Next up. This was, okay, I, there was a guy selling blue molds, a lot of Christmas, and a couple Halloween ones selling this design. Originally priced 115, marked down to 95. And I was like, ooh, ugh, can't do that. So we went farther into the market and we found someone selling him. And he was 45 and he has a better coloration, a better paint job on it. So I'm glad I found that. He does have like a little hole in the bottom, but I don't even care because look at his better paint job. He's so cute and also like $50 off cheaper than what the other people wanted. So he's a cutie. I love the ghosties. I got ghosties and pumpkins and ghosties holding pumpkins. Now three things that I cannot pick up and just show you. It's gonna be a little more difficult. I'll insert footage over my face here, but there are like propane tanks and toolboxes made out of just like pure, sheet metal -y, whatever, and someone had taken something and drilled like jack-o'-lantern faces into them and they were really, really cool. They had a whole bunch of different designs, got three of them. They were really affordable considering um, everything and they're really heavy and everything. So I'm happy with those purchases. They're gonna go on our front porch, which I think is gonna be really cute and they're gonna stay all year. Although I just worry about them rusting even more than they already are. A little concerned about that. Lastly, I got so much stuff, you guys. I got this little, like a little ghost holding a pumpkin again ghost holding pumpkins and has a little spot for maybe a candle or maybe because this is made of wood i shouldn't do that maybe we put like a little potion bottle something here i just thought he was cute he was five dollars so precious and then lastly because i bought the big flat pumpkins and the big ghost i got this little pumpkin bucket for free i liked his facial expression he was a little cute so that's what i got i got so many good goodies you guys I need to take my makeup off now because I, I feel hot and sweaty and gross. <sighs> but it's it's just, mm, all the good feelings, all the good feelings. I can't wait to set these up in my living room. I really like those holding pumpkins, like a lot, a real lot. Okay, so I was cleaning my little terracotta pumpkin guy. Can anyone tell me what this says? Something e. It's very bad lighting in here. Oh my god. Something e rotten. I will take a picture and put it on the screen since my camera doesn't want to focus. But we love handmade ceramic pumpkins. We haven't been home that long. I kind of cleaned up my blow molds and stuff. <laughs> Kasha. And I was wondering what my husband was doing because it was very quiet. Do you want to know what it's like living with someone who has to make everything a project? Because I'll tell you, it's surprising. You want to tell the vlog what you're doing with your day? I'm building a custom front door. And do we need a custom front door? We do now. All right, so it looks bright in this room, but it's getting later now. Um, we had a, I had a great day. I had a great day. I've been looking forward to this thing for so long. And then when we got there, it didn't look like too many people. It, like the last antique festival was enormous and the whole entire field was covered in boost. And this time it was only the two covered cabanas. And I was like, oh my God, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get much because there's not much. Um, but I just, it's like the holy grail mother load of things. And I think we spent 300 for everything, uh, which is a lot of money. However, I, I love these things so much and uh, I'm gonna use them all year long. We also got a couple, if I remember, I'll show you. They're like chain link looking handles um, and two longer handles for uh, 
there were like just some metal handles someone had from like a hardware set like I had a bunch of metal stuff from like it looked like a hardware store a long time ago um and they're gonna be for like home projects around the house whether we use them for dresser drawer uh pulls or doors inside the house stuff like that but i think those are gonna be cute too that's the only thing i didn't show you because i think they're in the garage and i didn't have them with me when i did the little haul thing i just remember we got them um but yeah so we got some steaks from walmart we're gonna grill that tonight as like a celebration of a successful thing and now he can hear stop hearing me talk about <laughs> the fall festival thing he's outside working on that door still and i didn't know there was a door project taking place until yesterday when we got a bunch of stuff from home depot and i just stopped asking what it was for i just asked how much it's gonna cost um and apparently it's for a front door when i thought we were fixing our rotting laundry room bathroom situation because we found all that water damage uh, but apparently apparently we're getting a new front door because he wanted to see if he could do one custom I like the chutzpah, I like the initiative, but I didn't know I needed a new front door. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know. Um, but yeah, so I am going to do, he's gotta do some schoolwork once he comes back inside. I need to do a little bit of shop stuff, just like updating my restock stuff because I made some stuff last night. Um, you saw me building some earrings, I think, and I have to restock those now and uh, check my emails and stuff because I didn't get to everything yesterday like I thought I was going to. So yeah, there's that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll have hopefully a good day. The only thing I have planned for tomorrow is to uh, change our layout of our fish tank and clean it because it needs a water change and everything. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but hey, thank you for being here anyways. And I put makeup back over my like thing I have taken antibiotics for it from the last time I had this problem. I've put a hot, wet paper towel on my face, so like a compress to help it break itself up. It's just, it's so painful. I don't know if you guys can tell. Okay, I, I covered it, right? So it doesn't look bad. Look how much space I have in between my eyes right here and over here. Like, look, I have all this space in between my eyelids and stuff. Over here, it's tight because everything right here is swollen. So right here, my eyelid fold is real. Hopefully that'll look better tomorrow too. Hi, it's morning, it's Sunday. I uh, think the American healthcare system is a joke and uh, I'm just gonna put that out there. So I, I, I woke up with barely being able to see one eye and uh, yeah, I wish the, uh, the American healthcare system worked because this is some bull. Um, Cause you know, if you go to the doctor, you're gonna have an outrageous bill for what they're doing, or they're gonna take hours and hours and hours to get to you no matter where you go. And then if you can't pay that extremely, like, a thing of lidocaine is like, gonna cost you like $400. And if you can't afford that medical bill, here in Florida, it goes on your credit report. So that's stupid. I don't like the American healthcare system, if you can even afford healthcare, cause that's like a whole nother thing. In case you're wondering, I'm, I'm sitting like this is I can't show you an open wound on YouTube anyways. And I don't want to. Um, but I just want to say that my husband is so sweet. And I'm like, this is so bad. And I like couldn't even open my eye. And he's like, no, it's not that bad. You'll be okay. We should get a scalpel if you don't want to go to the doctor. I'm like, well, I like the support there. But it's this is not a great situation. So if you ever uh, heard someone complaining about HS or the pain of HS. Because it already hurts without even touching it. Especially when you get it in like an armpit or behind your knees or any kind of crevice. It sucks so freaking bad. It sucks so bad. But the face, like why the face? Is it because I was stressed out about like, is that market going to get canceled? Is the hurricane coming to kill us? Or is it because I tried a new cleanser? Like, or none of the factors that just happened again. So when you run a small business, you have a lot of things you got to think ahead for like holidays and stuff. And I have 10 of these. They're like champagne flutes. Um, I have 10 
blank ones and I need to figure out what to put on them for like thinking ahead for New Year's and stuff. I could always do the here for the booze situation, but it doesn't feel New Year's enough. So, or maybe I could just do like 2023 in a really gothic font. I don't know, but let me know what you, if you guys have any ideas for what should be on these clear flutes. They're plastics, so they won't break in shipping, but you know, they're easy to store and less breakable, especially when you're drinking than glass ones. So I thought it'd be a good idea to have in the shop for New Year, just thinking ahead and everything. And then also I went ahead and ordered a bunch more of like hooks and stuff and cards for my earrings for my small business because I will make like, let's say I make 40 pairs, right? Well, I'm only making like four of this style, four of this style, five of this style at a time. And I think I'm good stocked for a little bit, but some are more popular than others. So some I'll stock like, let's say seven pairs when I first release them and I'll still have five sitting around for ever um or i'll make seven of a new pair and they'll do really well and i'll sell it instantly and i feel like i'm always just like these aren't doing well but i have a bunch of them and then the ones that do well i never have any of them made so what i did is i ordered a bunch more uh cards and hooks to build earrings with so later on this week i'm gonna like wake up super early and focus on stocking as many as i can the thing about it though is that i have so many styles because I like adding styles and having fresh stuff in the shop. And the fact that it takes a long time, it's very meticu it's meticulous. It's just a repetitive, repetitive motion. Um, it's not like it's hard or anything, I guess, but it's just repetitive and I can't hold things too long with the carpal tunnel without being like concerned it's gonna hurt me the next day. So that's what I determined I'm gonna do this week. Larger stocks. I'm gonna stop stocking like three and four at a time when I'm making a batch of things. And I'm gonna start stocking like 10 pairs at a time instead of like so instead of like average five i'm gonna stock 10 at a time so things are in stock i may have a lot of stock sitting around waiting to be sold or whatever but at least it'll be built and assembled and that i'll have it ready and it'll be in stock on my site so i'm working on that i'm just scared of making big batches because then i feel like oh these are supplies that could have went to something more popular in my shop i don't know why i think like this i just think things are gonna sit forever but that's what I'm going to do. I also need to restock some wax melts this week. Basically, my Sunday is usually cleaning the house. We end up at Home Depot somehow because there's always something we need. And then planning the week's like shop work and everything. YouTube and everything. I have like a list of things I kind of go off of. Or if I have a sponsorship, I know what I have to do that week. But Sundays are mostly my planning days and cleaning days. The house is clean. But for some reason, I think I'm getting like over the smell of Fabuloso because when you mix that with the mopping fluid, I feel like my house kind of smells stale. Maybe I should like switch to Pure Pine Sol or something. Also, you guys, thank you to anyone who bought lashes through my small business. I appreciate it. I was nervous about doing it for a long time. It took me a long time to like gather what kind of styles I wanted to do. And then now from the 10 that I put on the site, because of the what is sold and everything, I'm determining that only four pairs are going to be permanent on my website. And I'm thinking they're going to be Wednesday Goth, Haunted, Azriel, and Akasha. So far, that's what I'm feeling. Although I feel like Sacred is a good one for like, I don't know, something a little more, I don't know. Anyways, those are the four that I think are going to stay permanent on the site. When the rest of them sell out, I'm not going to be restocking those styles. So you can get them now, but they're not going to stay because I just can't. Again, I don't want to have like a million things of stock laying around, so I'm going to narrow down the choices of which ones are permanent. One other issue I'm having with like if I'm going to start making larger stock of things is I don't have any room. This is all the storage I have and it's all full. Um, I also need to upgrade my earring building kit because this is like I have to stuff it closed and like yeah, I, I need to make, I need to go to uh, Michael's and get a bigger container for this too. So that's going to take up more room. I'm not quite happy having all of my like shipping bags and stuff so close by the different sizes. That's really convenient. However, when it comes to like finding earrings and stuff, like I have all my cat ones here and then I have like some of my more alternative ones here. I'm like flipping through like razor blades, teeth, like everything's so tight in here i have to know exactly where they all are and they're all up here too and they're all up here too so like this storage situation because i have like four or five of each style uh gets a little daunting 
when you just see all these packages to figure out which one you need. You know, all this stuff is really crammed onto each other. It's, it's just really full. I need to figure something else out for storage, but that's probably going to require buying another one of these Ivars from Ikea. And I wasn't really wanting to do that because then it's going to make my storage go farther down and I don't have any more room for my like other stuff. Alright guys, so it's the end of the day. I got left with my own devices too long and started painting and organizing the inside of our coffee bar cabinets with the candles and the liquor in it. Um, so I started painting that. Probably should have sanded it down first, but I didn't care if it's not scratch proof, it's inside of a cabinet. So I did that. I made a couple designs for my design Etsy um, and put those up for sale. So those are good to go because I'm trying to add more to that, you know, when I have time to do a couple. Um, so that's done and we're gonna have some dinner and go to bed. My husband's still doing homework, so I don't know when that's going to be done, but we're going to, you know, cook dinner and then just sit on the couch for a little bit. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this vlog. I, I'm going to try to be creative with videos this week coming up um, because of that. I don't know if it's that big of a deal, but it bothers me personally. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. The freaking antique market was really popping. I can't believe the haul we got.